$1,675. Call of the night. And he is in trouble. A $123,150 pot. I'm wagering all my discs. How is he always right? Andy is going to turn his hand into a bluff and move all in. And he shows them. Goat versus goat. Things just got real here at Hustler Casino Live. And everyone's right, coming in here. So this is almost like a $450 bomb pot here. Nick calls with Queen Jack off, Big John in there with Jack four, Eli in there with eight four. Pablo in there with Dolly Parton. So Dennis, Dennis won the first hand of the show. Let's see who's gonna win the last one. There we go, last hand of the first show here at Hustle Casino Live. Queen six three, two spades out there. This could be dangerous for Eli. Eli with a spade draw. And Nick has top two. So uh, once again, we've got two flush draws here. Versus top two. Versus top two. No, no, it's, it's queen six four. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, the graphic. Queen six four or queen, queen six, six three? Queen six three. Queen six three. Okay. But Nick has top pair. <laughs> he has top pair. Jack with the uh, the nut flush draw. Eli with, uh, with a garbage flush draw. And Pablo, Pablo just bets whatever. out with nothing. <laughs> well, at the last hand. Jack calls. Dude, you can't win if you don't bet. Nick calls, and Eli calls. So this is going to be and really, really savage if a spade comes in here. Yeah, Jack has been is the big winner so far. Five of clubs on a turn. So Pablo now turns a pair of fives. Eli, Eli now has a straight draw. Eli now with his flush draw. Open ended with eight four spades. And you wonder if Eli plays the turn aggressively, what happens? Pablo bets twenty five hundred though. And this is interesting here because Jack's going to call, and then is Nick just going to fold? He's just going to get away from it, I assume, right? Oh, Jack is going to raise here to 5,000, so that makes things very easy. Yeah, Nick's, Nick's gone. What does Eli do with 8-4? Eli's going to open into straight draw with the flush draw. Now remember, Jack was the preflop raiser to straight 450. So what are some of the hands? You would think it would be like queen queens, queen queen, right? Yeah. Got top set. So you wouldn't want to make an aggressive move at that. If you were Eli, you'd want to call. Once in a great while. You even want to call though. Uh, open with, if I've got a, a flush draw and I'm open ended against a set, top set. Yes. Are you, but aren't you aren't you concerned that Pablo's going to move all in behind you? And Pablo's got another 15-5 behind. I mean. You don't close wow, the action. Eli folds. By the way, if Pablo calls this, he's got the best hand right now. He does. He does. It's only a min race, too. It's only a min race. If Pablo ends up winning this hand, I I, I might get I, I might get his likeness tattooed on my ass. I might not, but I might. So here we go. He makes the call. Fourteen thousand seven hundred and five dollars. Jack needs to hit a spade and ace or a king. Oh, he hits oh. the ace of clubs. He lives such a blessed life. He lives such a blessed life. Look at that. The big sigh of relief. But is Pablo going to bet at it like he had backdoor clubs? Uh. All in. Oh! oh! All in for nearly 13000 11000 Well, the, he says 11000 but... Pablo! Pablo, Pablo. And Jack immediately exposes his hand. Like, hey, I've got Ace King of Spades, yeah, buddy. Yeah, he was trying to get a reaction. That is a, by the way, I've, I've done that for years. I love that play. Well, didn't they do it? Didn't they used to have a rule where you, oh. if you did that, it was a 10 second countdown? So you only had, stupid. I hated that play. You only have 10 seconds to act on your it's hand. It's the dumbest or rule. I don't believe that's a rule anymore. It's just something I hope in the past. Not. Pablo, all heart. 10, all heart. 11, 12. 13,000. This is basically a pot size bet. What a way to end the first show. I mean, he bet the flop. He bet the turn. I think it's 12,365 is what the dealer said. So it's basically a pot size bet. So Jack's getting two to one. Pablo bet flop. Call, call, call. Bet turn. Got raised. 12,365. Got raised by Jack. Called. And now is moving in as a bluff on backdoor clubs. How does he have backdoor clubs if he led the flop, though? Queen X of clubs? Yeah. 
And why not Queen X of Clubs? What's it do? Six X of Clubs. I mean, I think Queen X of Clubs makes a ton of sense. Queen Ten of Clubs. Right? I mean, why not? That call. He calls! And he calls! He makes the call! $40,675. Wow. with calling chips and he does make the call with 6-4 offsuit so interesting for Mike here <laughs> that's funny great flop for Francisco drawn to the nut flush draw I know. Did you get that part or were you not laughing because you didn't get it? When you saw the episode? Uh, 1400? <laughs> She's too young to watch I promise those, you this, his, his shriek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, I suspect Sir Francisco yeah, yeah, will yeah, quickly yeah, make this yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. I don't his know that he'll necessarily come in for a raise. Yeah, for sure. If I yank on it. <laughs> you gotta be loving this if you're Francisco, so he does quickly make the call. Got feet like Shaq. Oh, really? Oh, him out yeah. Interesting oh, air ball bluff here on the flop by Mike so Nia. As he turns a pair and somehow actually has the best hand, but is it even possible for him to win this one? You see he's a favorite. Check. And now he checks. And the river's a deuce. Wow, Mike Nia has the best hand. Is Francisco going to go for this bluff here? He has a nut flush blocker. He blocks straights. This would be incredible if Mike Nia were able to capture this pot with a four after bluffing the flop. And if you're Francisco and you face a bet from Mike Nia, I mean, it's tough to to raise there. So it was interesting that he didn't bet the river. Yeah, I mean, looking at Mike's stack size, uh, I mean, Mike might feel like he has to turn his hand into a bluff. How can a four be good here when he gets called on the flop? And it looks like Mike's thinking about it. Mike perhaps trying to target a hand like a 10 or a 9 or jacks. I don't think a queen's folding, but perhaps you can get those hands to fold. And if Francisco comes over the top here, I mean, that's just a, a great read from him. Yeah, 2,500 from Mike Nia. He's bluffing with the best hand here. Uh, he doesn't have much back, only 4,500, as you can see. How can Francisco ever bluff to him here when Mike bets this size on this board with only that much behind, right? Like he can't really jam because it, there's not a lot of perceived fold equity here. Mike's never folding top pair for this price, I don't think. But Mike does go over thin value because can Francisco figure it out and get Mike to fold a hand like a 10? How much you have back? You three, four, four. Yeah. I mean, you know, you two, <coughs> you know, three, four. four. You, you hit it in 50. I would guess 52. I'll be 56 in March. Oh, wow. Oh. Hey, we're both March? Oh, no. We're March what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, I'm 14. He's not Pisces because otherwise he would get along. I For too, sure you're not Pisces. No, 100%. I, I too am you're born in March. You're at the end of March. I too right? am born in March. 27. Yeah. Thank you. 17. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, I'm Irish. I know. Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a thing? I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> I fucking don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And I think Francisco is actually thinking about jamming here. So, I mean, it'll be sick if he does. I mean, that'll be great poker there. But, I mean, I, I just... Oh, wow. Oh, and he does it. All in from Francisco. Wow, what a shove. What a shove. I mean, that was... And how can Mike Nia ever call here with a four? I mean, that would just be incredible. I just don't see him calling. What a hand by Mike. What a hand by Francisco. Wow. I'm totally shocked. I didn't put you on anything, any of this. I thought you may have at best ace king.
Anybody want to drink? We'll cut off. Oh, no, I'm good. We want an anti drink. We want to, like, can have a milk? How long are we going to be playing tonight? You have to ask them. It's normally a sexual And what time do we end the game tonight? Natural milk. From the from the cricket oh, from, from, from the source. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Around 9:15. I dropped this 10,000 dollar chip over here just now. 10,000? Take it. Take it. I can't put you on any of this. <laughs> Cut off. Really? You, you guys are cutting me off. Well, you're fucking sexually molesting Nick over there. Of course we're gonna cut you off, man. I feel like if you actually buy me like steak, I might have to just leave with you. He oh, likes yeah. it raw. You know what I mean? But raw. I need it rare. <laughs> Medium rare. Well, you know, they made my steak well done, man. I, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Or did you really have to turn your back on me like I was serious? Yeah. Like I was being serious, seriously. Like, like did we really have to make it like it was like he really a serious offer? He put in his slung the other way. That's oh. all he did. <laughs> he said, this is too much. I'm going to point my shit that way. That <laughs> makes me feel bad. I wish I had. That's not his leg, you know. I put you on. Yeah. It is not. Okay, let's go. Seriously, come on. Shut up, Feldar. It's a big deal. Oh, fuck you. Come on. This is like an hour, man. Give him a minute. I paid collection. I paid all that. Come on. Give him a minute. It has been. It's just 20. It's fine. Go to the bathroom. Yeah. Hug your wife over there. You know him. Oh, my God. And I can't believe Mike Nia is actually thinking this long and this hard about this. Eldar, Mike. Yeah, that's enough. Those two with just a four, this is incredible that he even has the gut feeling to possibly call this after betting the river as a bluff and now getting raised. I mean, when he bets the river, he can't think that he's value betting because nothing worse calls, right? You would just check back for your showdown value if you think you're good with this week of a hand. So when he bets, he's bluffing, but then when he gets raised, now all of a sudden he thinks that Francisco's bluffing with the worst hand. So it's really weird, but it's amazing that Mike's even thinking about this. That's great thought process by Mike. The way the hand played out, he just thinks he has ace-king with a spade. <laughs> One minute left. Why you, I don't know what you're you oh. Good call, good call. Oh, and he makes the call. Wow. Mike Nia Mike, with I the call of the it. night. Oh, Absolutely oh, sick. Four, Absolutely four, sick. Four, what a call. Four, what a call. <laughs> Very high level poker. The chat's just blowing up on this one. Couple players with hearts here. I got something with my share. Andy with the nut hearts. Four thousand. Fifteen thousand. How much? Fifteen thousand. And Reza gonna make a huge raise right away. And he is in trouble. He is in big trouble. This may be bad news for Reza. Ten seconds. All in? Andy moving all in. Full. Reza snaps. It's up to you. Here we go. We're going to see Two. the biggest pot of the night thus far. Two. Sure. Two They're going nine. twice. $113,000 pot. Here we go. A seven on the river, and Reza gets board number one. A jack. And Reza is going to scoop it. No, no. I got both. Reza is going to scoop it. Wow. Gets it in with the lower flush draw and hits a pair. 
<laughs> Close. On each run out. Wow. And that is wow. extremely <laughs> tilting if you're Andy. Andy gets the money in. So good. $113,000 pot going Reza's way. Could see this game get wild. Reza over 100k deep. Andy stuck. I probably would have called. Yeah? I probably would have called the flop. Yeah. Got two overs. Gall on the cutoff yeah. with Jack seven. Oh, what a setup hand. You gotta be kidding me. So Garrett Ray, I mean, Gall actually raised here. Garrett calls. Garrett flops the nuts on a rainbow board. And Gall with top and bottom. I mean, how does this happen? Pot is 4,000. Garrett's gonna raise right away. He's not messing around. We've seen Gall. He's already said it. I don't like the fold, right? And he's illustrated that. And Garrett is aware of that. 180? Yes, 180. It's 180. Queen of Spades on the turn. Gall still with Jacks and Sevens. Garrett. Still with the nuts. Fifteen thousand. Garrett over betting the pot on the turn. Makes the call. Pot is now 42,000. The river's a seven! And the river is a seven! Garrett's certainly aware that his opponent could have two pair before that river. This pot is already $42,000. Can Garrett get away from it? Forget about it. He doesn't want to get away from it. He's all in. I, I don't know what Gall's waiting for here. Adding two minutes. I'm going to. Sorry. I mean, at this point, if you're Garrett, you're thinking, well, the guy's hemming and hawing. I'm good, right? All right, maybe the guy's got jack eight. Garrett's bet 68 into 42. I, I... Garrett on the left, Gall on the right. I'm, 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 I really want to see Garrett's face when, when Gall finally does make the call. Cold. Things just got real here at Hustler Casino Live. $46,000. But you know, at the end of the day, it's his fault. Hmm? It's his fault. Look who flops a set. And Andy with a straight flush draw. But oh, we're going to see some fireworks. Especially after that hand with Armenian Mike, I don't think Andy is in any mood to play slow. 
cold. Too cold. Three side open ended. No, no, no. Three flop. They're oh. only three flop. It's only three flop. Anyway. Is, what is Chris have? There was, there was one other player in the box. He called in for 17,000 and 17,000. Chris Lott? For 17,000. What? With King 3 and Diamond. Flop Why? Count, flop, flop count 4, 5, uh, five okay? 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. Great. No. 4, 5, 6. In the river, in He's going to bet it. Seven. Like it wasn't bad. He was trying He's to close to like half the game. deck yeah, about. That's what I, I'm like, why would call? You didn't call. You probably would three bet it like normal, like usual. And then yeah. the he did. He, he three bet 1600. Any eight, any and four, any heart. In between, cold, cold. Cold. He and might think the nine and seven are live, but they're not. And then he called. And then Chris reshoved. Oh, he wants to just go ahead. Though. And then Mike has king. Mike has king. He nearly marked. He nearly marked. We have a huge turn coming up. Wow. Thank you for five minutes. Bink. Mike. Wow. And he binks the offsuit eight. I don't want oh, uh, to uh, I don't I don't want to 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 Andy has overbet the pot by about 50% of the pot. And so this pot is now $27,000. Oh, the Andy has the absolute nuts. And a straight is incredibly unlikely given the way this action has gone. The question is would Andy do this with missed hearts, right? Let's say instead of 9 7 of hearts, he had queen jack of hearts. Would he do the same thing here and miss on the river and go all in? This is, has to be what Garrett's thinking now. And now Andy's sizing on the turn makes a lot of sense. He left a pot size bet behind. This was his plan the whole way. A little bit over 30. It's 10, 20. Or this is yeah, 2032. 32.5. And look how intently Garrett is watching Andy right now. He is watching every little detail. Garrett is an expert at live reads. It's 325 here. The way he's talking, the way he's counting the chips. So just recently, Andy ran a really similar line against Garrett, where he bluffed just like this on the river. He had ace high. Garrett had a really similar holding. He had two pair, which essentially be all bluffs, and he was able to call that time. This time, the answer is fold.
cowboy movie. And he finds the fold. You can breathe now, Andy. <laughs> How is he always right? Unbelievable fold. Right, Jack, right, side of the small we have to look down and not see a hand. <laughs> oh, he, a and he is trying to get back uh, what he is okay, stuck. Wow, Nick folds king, ten, and diamonds. I'm not sure if it's that away from the table or not, but he's going to get action here for Mickey. With the ace, ten off. Oh, a three bet. Three bet here from the straddle. And here we go again. I have like, a, I don't know, 50. These two again. No, less, less. 15, 20, 25, like 35 ish. 35 behind? Yeah, here. We have him at 46,000. Uh, Something like that. If you want, I can count it. Like 60 total? Yeah. I'm a fish. Yeah, about. Yeah, about 60 total. It's about right. 15,000. I, I have one of the best hands I've, I've seen today. So. Oh, wow. If you do fold, I, I, mean, I don't care. I don't care. I think Andy's just thinking, well, do, am I just going to put it in here? It starts to get pretty deep. All in. Oh, there's the all in. If you got Jack's beat, you got Jack's beat. Covers me, of course, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is what I had. Seventy-six, forty-six to call. So I'm not getting two to one here. I'm gonna take a time, Don't worry, gonna take a time extension. It's a two K straddle in this pot. Again, it's a two K straddle here in this pot. You so go less and not. Run twice? Well, he showed him his hand. Uh, you know what I have? I, 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 I feel like going once today, to be honest. I feel like going once today. Yeah, and he wants to get his money back. So two K straddle. You so. Call this and just go once. Uh, I don't know what you have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just want to play this one. I just want to play this one. I'm, yeah, I just want to play this one. Well, there's no playing. I mean, it, there's nothing <laughs> I mean, to I play. Just wanna, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I guess what he's saying is full rate. Uh, full rate. Full rate. Full rate. <laughs> I think that's what that means. Full rate. Full rate. I mean, Andy has put Mickey in here, but this was a 2K straddled hand. So, Mickey started with 30 big blinds effective, but he's going to get 4 bet after he 3 bets out of the cutoff straddle. Do you have aces? Tell me this. Do you have aces? That's fair. Uh, I don't have aces. I don't okay, have aces. I call. And he calls. He calls. One hundred and twenty-three thousand. One time. I hate saying before. I always lose when I say what I have. Okay. One time. If I lose, I'm gonna go home. Yeah, just go. Let's see. Andy, a big favorite here. Here we go. Oh, ace in the door? Okay. And he's going to need to catch backdoor clubs. He needs to catch a jack. Oh, $123,150 pot for Mickey. Oh, how brutal. Oh, I, give, I don't know if they told hand. you about me, but I always give action. I'm like super yeah, easy good. about it. Just so you know. Like, yeah, it's all good. Once it's with you. <laughs> yeah, because you only play the nuts. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I think we've all been there. Maybe not for this amount, but not having the best session. You get it in really good, and then. Oh. And Mickey, a full double up, a 2K straddle, three bets, calls it off, gets a fist pump from Antonio, too, on the side. Professional gambler. Gary gonna open the button here and he's gonna get called, or three bet, from Andy. Man, what a flop we have here. Andy flopping a very good board for his range from 
the pre-flop three betters position. And he can have all the jacks, all the kings, all the ace king, or all the king jacks suited. And he's going to keep firing here with the gut shot, blocking the strongest king X that Garrett can have. Very wet board. Garrett is just going to elect to continue calling with two pair here to protect his calling range. If Garrett raises all of his strong hands here, he doesn't have any good hands to call down with when Andy runs big bluffs. Andy just gives up on this river, which seems reasonable having the club and the diamond in his hand. It makes it more likely that Garrett has a value hand and not a draw. Garrett's going to go for some value here. Ten seconds. Just under a pot size bet from Garrett on this river. Andy thinking about it with ace high. He can't love having the queen of clubs in his hand specifically, blocking some draws like queen 10. Blocking some club draws. And Andy's going to move all in. Andy is going to turn his hand into a bluff and move all in. <laughs> I guess Andy figures here he's got the queen. He blocks Garrett having the queen 10. Ten I think I want my mommy magic. <laughs> I'm putting Garrett in an insane spot early in this session. Garrett, see if he can put the pieces together here. 37 more. Does Andy play a hand like Queen-10 in this manner? Does Andy play a hand like Pocket Jacks in this manner? Seems unlikely since Garrett does have the Jack in his hand. What kind of value hands does Andy have that take this line? Does King Jack suited? Go bet, bet, check, raise. Does Queen-10 suited? Go bet, bet, check, raise. Pretty, pretty close to it. Garrett trying to figure it out. 38 more. I don't know. 10 seconds. Not sure what to do. Five. Two, five, two. I owe you this so far. What a weird hand. It's so weird, too, because I don't have that much. Um, I kind of, I kind of want to, like, kind of want to put more in there for some reason. Mm -hmm. huh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sorry. I owe you this, right? I think I'm leaning towards putting this all in here. My hand's not even, it's 
not even like a good one really to have here. Just, I don't know. Garrett's gonna sniff this out. Hmm. Hmm. You would think that at some frequency, if Andy had Queen 10, that he would just bet the river himself. Removing some of the combos of the nuts. Garrett blocking the sets of jacks, blocking the King Jack suit. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put it in on this hand, I guess. He's got it, he's got it. <laughs> 10 seconds. Huh. Oh, I really can't decide. I guess I'll think about it one more minute. I'm not sure what to do. the call. Garrett under the gun with a big duke. Raised the 1,200. I think he's going to get involved. 4,000. And he 3-bets the 4-5 offsuit. suit. So Garrett opens ace-king off and Mickey from out of position goes to 4,000. So about 3.5x here. What do you think the 8th Wonder is going to do? Looks like he's going to call. Yeah. And they're deep. We usually don't see Mickey. I mean, Mickey's been on just a tear. Actually, it's a 4-bet. Excuse me. He 4-bets yeah, to 15,000. <coughs> and he snaps. Beat him in the pot. So 4-bet pot. I, I respect that. He don't. Wow. Well, I like Mickey's that. just Custom totally whiffed there, here. Go yeah. Yeah. He's had 9 all hearts. Whiffsville. And whoa, oh. look at this. We've seen I mean, this I love Mickey, but on a four bet pot against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide do mission. He just is flopping. Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's lighting he's lighting some of these chips on fire. So a lead here. Do we have a for clock 15, in here? What time is it? Yeah. What time is it's it? definitely not something that Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. Nope, he's not used to being in this position. The only thing I'll say, Nick, is that is there ever a chance that if a heart were to come off and Mickey's continued to bet that Garrett might fall right here? Mickey's going to continue to bet. Yeah, well, this isn't the greatest turn either for Garrett. His hand is getting tougher and tougher to play for him. And yes, if a heart comes, he could get off his hand. Yeah, one liner out here. It's not, it's not shaping up right. Yeah, look at this turn card. One liner to a jack here. King 10 9, all hearts turns a queen. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. He's going to call, and we are at 101,000 here. Wow. River it's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's if he bombs here. Yeah. Fuck, I should have bet. No, I have to play high. God damn it, go. What did you have when I blocked the Queen 10? What did you have? A small pocket. Huh? A small pocket. Okay. I can't call. 
The whole board beat. Wow. He's gonna bomb it. Aside, quick queen pin. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think he might have announced 60. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, 65, yep. 65,000? 65,000. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, I meant. Okay, 60,000. I don't, you know. I don't. What's the bet? 60,000. Whatever he wants. Is 60? I meant, I meant 60. I don't wanna, like. You're fine. You know. Just whatever you want the bet to be. Yeah. Fine. I don't wanna, like, poor etiquette is. You're good, dude. You're good. Fuck. Oh, so many tough decisions against you've been wrong every time. Folded a bunch. <coughs> Called and was wrong. Fucking such brutal. Yeah. Let it out, Garrett. Why do I think he's gonna call Bart? Mm. Could be a live read here. Yeah. Making seem a little nervous now. What the fuck does this hand mean? I don't know. Now he, now he's trying to look calm. Yeah, a lot of time chips might be going in here. This is a really thin line here. It's like, would Mickey ever play a flop flush like this? Would he ever play just a jack like this? Remember, it's a four bet pot. He three bet out of the small blind, and Garrett four bet and he snap called. Oh, he's gonna try to vape his way to a fold. You got it again, huh? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Every time you've had it against me. I feel like you got it again. Yes, everybody. That doesn't mean he's folding. Sometimes he switches gears right in the middle of the game. Man, he might be leaning that way, though. He doesn't look happy about this. This is, a, this is putting him in a tough spot, man. Tough damn spot. Can't win this hand, I don't think, either. Oh. Just gotta hope you have something like that. Well, I mean, normally you wouldn't think that someone would have, like, ace seven off with the ace of hearts. Not sure what to do. Which is, like, the number one draw like unpaired. That. But we know that Mickey might even have that. Because he's, he's got a black 5-4, so... Yeah. Trying to get a hand read here is, is really hard. Well, Garrett is the master of making the right decision. And 60,000 isn't going to change his life. He's just trying to make the best decision as a competitor. What a great split screen here. Yeah. Guess I'll fold. Oh, he beats the fold. Wow, Mickey, show it, baby. My man. Oh. And he shows him. Woo. That's going to leave a mark. Phase two or one. Wow, Mickey Tricky. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him well. You want me to show? You could. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, just, you know, I never mean to no, be rude. No, you can always show. It's all good, yeah. All right. He will take the information even five though five? it's stinging. Why, could you beat five high? Oh, wow. If Garrett doesn't, if he finds a fold somehow before doubling up Andy, that's going to be something. I don't think he, he will, especially if Ball calls this. Just a call. Less than half pot from Garrett. And he's gonna raise now, which is interesting. Oh, 
Like, Annie, can I see your chips? I can't really. Uh, two, two five Ks. Like, seven one Ks. Five, five, five thousand and five hundred. Oh, I just have a feeling Garrett's not gonna double up Andy here. Very savvy check by Andy. What an interesting hand. If you listen closely, you get a little of Garrett's thought process. What happened to my six thousand? I brought it in. Okay. I brought okay. six thousand. This one there's gonna be a case. He has exactly thirty thousand behind. Huh. Oh, really interesting one. All sorts of interesting parts about this one, huh? True. Huh. Huh. What do I want to do here? Fucking it. Pretty interesting. He's gonna fold. I owe two of these? Okay. Thanks. Hmm. What do I want to do? I, I really have no idea what I want to do. This is a very, very, very tough one. What if Garrett had the aces and anyone else had the kings? How quickly would have all the money have gone in? Um, 
What do I want to do? Apologize, guys. This is a tough one. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I was wondering if Andy would go all in with Queens or Jacks. My hand like 7 6 suited has got to be in Garrett's mind a little bit. I really don't know what to do. Wow. Andy, of course, cannot have Ace 5 of Clubs mm. or Ace 5 of Diamonds. Hmm. I don't know. I keep changing my mind. All right. I'm going to decide here after this next minute. Sorry, everyone. Andy, at first I was like, I think I'm not going to put more in here. And then now I'm convincing myself to. So you either are now running quite good or quite bad based on that. Definitely leaning towards just putting it in here though. If I do, it's just like out of respect, you know? It's like, eh. Strong player, willing to put lots and lots of money in without all of it. I don't know. Fuck, can't decide. Huh. What I meant to say earlier is oh, this would be the only suited ace five and you can have is ace five of Fuck, I still can't decide. I need one more minute. Sorry, fucking egg. Uh, what do I want to do? This is taking way too long too. I just keep changing my mind. It was a very interesting line by Andy. I mean, you really think I'm gonna fold a hand like that? Or you're just like, fuck it, fuck him. I'm wagering all my discs. Garrett probably hmm. feels a little under -repped. Huh with his small sizing. All right, rep. now I'm gonna change my mind again. Now I'm leaning heavily towards not putting it in there. Heavily, Andy, 10 more seconds. 10 seconds. Heavily leaning towards not putting any more in there now. Jesus, he got there. He got to the right decision. Good. Shit. Show. Show it if it's Show. God bless. God bless, thank you. Fuck. What a super tough hand. Just no idea what to do. Well, what you have? So we got to balance the, uh, um, That's right. The talk about how good Garrett runs. Fuck, oh, man. He ran very, he mm -hmm. got the, the ultimate cooler there. Good hand, good hand, either way. Kings against Ace is oh, super deep against the very... <laughs> <laughs> there it is, he gave me the sorry, that was sick. Aggro player. Like, the same way you gave Julie yeah, the sorry, sorry, he said sorry, Garrett. Yeah. No, he said sorry, Garrett. <laughs>Just in general, yeah, like if you play her one level and then you start playing a game much smaller, it's hard to carry, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you were listening to what Tom and I were talking about. I can relate to some of that. Um, Durst got jacks now. It looks like Garrett's going to do something. To he just calls with like, ace queen and diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Like that is surprising. To, you know, keep it interesting. The, it only kind of works. What's the biggest thing? Maybe he wants to bring some of those guys in the black I mean, ones here. Usually, some like, aces. Whatever, I'm not yeah, saying this is the case, but I, like, I've watched uh, Garrett navigate when he's up against a really 
creative, solid uh, action player, places, yeah. he will navigate differently through the hand than he will somebody. Yep, and how big about hand, top, big hand. Well, top set for Durr, and Durr's going to check in. Garrett's got two of us? the gutter and the backdoor nut flush draw here. So Tom Dwan's going to slow play. And it's possible that Garrett might bluff across multiple streets here. Remember, Garrett just called pre-flop. See what Durr's going to do. There's a call. Where if we see some diamond here on the turn. Oh, the turn's oh a king! My God. The turn's a king, oh. and Garrett makes the hidden nuts here. Durr with... Jack, Jack, and he can't really be scared of King, King. No three bet pre flop, and you wouldn't even think Garrett has oh, ace queen God. here. Just, just a run to it. 5,000 here from This might be where Garrett. Durr is going to make a move, too. I'm sure he had planned on check raising at some point, but now he's just going to call. So he obviously has outs. And the river's a jack! So Tom Dwan oh. makes quads here. He now has the best hand. Wow. Garrett with the ace queen. Pot is only 16.4K because there was no three bet. It was just a check call, check call. What a sick river. What is Durr thinking about here? He is going to check. And Garrett's got to think about what does Dwan have, check calling, flop and turn, maybe a hand like ace-king? I, I, I can't, I don't see Garrett checking this back. No, I don't either. There's no way. What is he targeting here? What's he going to, what, what's his sizing? Sizing is probably going to be about 15, He usually bets 16K. large, yeah, looks like at least. 25,000 oh here wow. with the over bet, and now for Dwan... What is his sizing? Because you almost know that Garrett's not going to have King King or 10 10 here. So if Garrett doesn't have King King 10 10, what are the other big hands? A straight, maybe pocket fours. And another tough decision coming here for Garrett. Juan's going to put the time chip in, which you talked a little bit about, Nick, last night, where Durr's put, he's going to put the time chip in, and then he's going to race. Yeah. Yeah, I always see that as a huge sign of strength. I think, in personally speaking, you got to make that, that raise and decision before you put the time chip in. I, I don't know. That's how I see it. Again, this is a single raise pot. Garrett flat into the field. Durr check called the flop, check called the turn, and he's made quads on the river. He's checked the river, and Garrett is bet. make a massive over bet. bet. Massive over bet. That's trying, to, trying to get a read here. He's got those 5K chips out. No defense, though. He held the floor. I think the bigger he goes, the better chance he has of getting called. He's got 80,000 in his hand, so he's going to go to 80, I believe. Right around 80. 68,000. Well, 68. So 68,000. So 43 here. For Garrett to call. And obviously Garrett loses to a hand like Jack's, 10s, pocket kings that might have just check called on the flop. This all started with the flat preflop, Nick. Very unorthodox. I yes. think Garrett probably three bets this hand like 95% of the time. Agreed. Garrett's gotten into a lot of spots. Yeah, he's the last been into some nights. jams the last two days. Yep. And well, the old Tom Dwan reputation get him paid off. I don't know if Garrett's actually ever played with Dwan before. And I don't believe so, and I still... So you think that Garrett's got to think that Dwan's capable, right? Of course. I mean, everyone knows Tom's, uh, so Tom's awesome. reputation <laughs> and his aggressiveness. I haven't no, seen a ton of it. It's I also don't think, Nick, that... <laughs> 
Durwood ever turn just one jack into a bluff. Sometimes we see that on flushing boards where somebody will turn trips into grab a full house. I think he would just check fall down. So I think he can take that out, the fact that Durr ever has trip jacks here only. Especially when Garrett overbet the river. I think that would be a square call for Dwan with like a hand like Queen Jack. He's gonna have to go to another time chip. This is this is a big this is a tough decision, man. This is especially the player he's looking against. I'm sure it would be nice for him to be up against Lucky here, eating his uh chow mate, turning around and telling him to call. This is a lot bit harder decision. <clears throat> I think the more likely hand that Garrett is obviously scared of is pocket kings. I don't know how often Duan would say check tens as middle set. Obviously, there's one combo of quad jacks, but kings makes a lot of sense here too. Seen Dur check over pairs. I need that five hundred dollars so bad, man. Please, please win. And again, it's like, what would Dwan be turning into a bluff? I don't think he's turning Ace King into a bluff. I don't think he's turning Trip Jacks into a bluff. <laughs> Garrett legitimately is stumped. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I thought I was going to do something right there, actually, and now, now I'm not so sure again. I have two of these. Another hand okay, too got it. that Dirk could have that might be played this way is King Jack. Take also mine, I don't need to use them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Borrow one. I don't use these. I promise you. I'm quick. I'm about to air in that. Like. I was like about to put no more money in. I was like right there. Then now I'm like trying to convince myself of a reason to put a few more bucks in here. Still leaning against it. I don't know. It's just so strong when Dirt check raises the over bet yeah. by Garrett. He bet 25k in a 15. Oh, yeah. I think, Ger I think Garrett's going to drop himself into letting this go. Okay. Uh, right. Fold. Oh, and he folds. Wow, he goes, I'll just pay him, and then he says, Fold. Goat. Versus go. What a fold by Garrett.